This is KSL News at 6. Good evening. Hundreds of patients with neurological conditions like seizures, migraines, and dementia found out this week that their clinic suddenly shut its doors after more than 40 years in business. Patients are trying to get their medical records and keep medications current as they look for new care. New at 6, new specialist Jed Bull reports a former employee says workers and bills were left unpaid as the business unraveled. Jed. And that's right, Western Neurological Associates is locked, the phones are disconnected, the power is off, and there's a sign on the door that says the business is closed due to unfortunate circumstances. Patients that I talked to feel like they were left hanging. He left a message on my phone and said their office had closed. Nicole Nielsen stunned by the abrupt closure, coming to Western Neurological Associates since she was 16, treated for migraine headaches. 31 shots. Nielsen's doctor, along with all the other doctors at the clinic, have left. She came this week to get her records and fears without them, she won't be able to get a new prescription when she needs her next shots in a couple of weeks. And if you don't get your Botox right on regimen, then you could get a series of migraines that are really extremely painful. A former employee who did not want to go on camera tells me the owner stopped paying bills and employees. He's preparing to sue. The employee said it was a busy clinic. Money was coming in. I feel horrible that people didn't get paid. Anyone should have access to their records. Tara Jorgensen had to go back twice to get hers. I was super upset and I was telling him, like, I don't know what's going on with this place. As a nurse, she's more concerned about other patients. There's a lot more patients that need much more help than me. Her husband, a physician's assistant, also worried about patient care. They still have those conditions. They still don't need those medications. They still need to be closely monitored. On the office door, a number patients can call to set up appointments at other clinics and an email address for records requests. When the Jorgensen stopped by, they ran into a doctor and an office worker. Working on their own time, they just said they're just there for the patients to try and help them get their records. She felt lucky to get them after trying for a month. They think the patients deserve better treatment. I feel like the patients are left to fend for themselves. Well, the owner of the business, who is not a doctor, did not return my calls. All of the doctors who recently worked at the clinic are still licensed, and we did not hear any complaints about the care that they gave the patients. Dave? Oh, what a pain. Yeah, hopefully they can all get their records quickly. Absolutely. Thanks, Jen. Ashley? Avoid